Y'all, I'm at the Michael Charles in another motel, right? I was at a nice motel one time, right? And like I told y'all before, them gang stalkers, they everywhere. If they ain't already there, they're going to put them over there. If you one of the chosen ones, they want to be around you. They want to be somewhere near you. And see, they, they choose your light shine so bright, chosen one. Just like my light shine so bright. These little ragamuffins, they want to try to come around and try to dim your light. They want to try to steal it. They trying to go around and saying things about you and and they want to say something about the chosen one. And it's always something negative. And that's what ragamuffins do. They talk that negative junk. They talk that negative junk and that foolishness. That's what they do. Because they're ragamuffins. And a ragamuffin don't get no glory unless they, they what they're trying to do. They want to try to talk about people and talk about this one and that, the, the chosen ones. huh? They want to steal the light from the chosen one. But they can't, if you got to steal something from somebody, you just ain't got it yourself. You can't produce it yourself. So you want to try to steal it from somebody? Oh, you need to go sit down and have several seats, honey. Sit down and have several seats. How about that? Let's do this. Let's do it. They get the ugliest and the most ornery kind of people to be in these gang stalkers and then these old organizations and all this kind of stuff. Old broads and, and the young ones too. They ragamuffins just like the, the old ones is ragamuffins just like the young ones is ragamuffins. They ain't worth a fart. Do you hear me? They ain't even worth farting at. And then they sitting up here trying to steal the glory. They trying to steal the glory. See, God give his children, the chosen ones, he give us glory because he give us that the glow that's on us because of his spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He give us that glow. And then here come the ragamuffin. They don't have it. They don't want to go do what we have to do to get that glow. They don't want to read their Bible. They don't want to go and, and seek the Lord first while he may be found. They don't want to seek him. They want to try to steal it by talking about the chosen ones, trying to steal your glory, trying to steal your light by talking that trash that they talk about you. But you know what? Honey, honey, you can't have... With this joy that God gave to me, you can't have it, baby. It's for me. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. You see, the world didn't give it. The world can't take it away. Ha. How about it? How about it, baby? You need to get down and read your Bible. You need to go somewhere and get on your knees and pray to the Lord God Almighty, the Heavenly Father. Pray to Abba Yah, the Father. Pray to Him. If you need some, if you need something from Him, don't try to go around trying to steal. Because that's one of the things that your, your father, which is Satan, if you're a wicked person, your father is Satan. He ain't nothing but to kill, to steal, and destroy, huh? You, you want to try to kill somebody's character. You want to try to turn around and make it something that, turn it into something else. You want to try to turn that glory into something else. But you want to try to make it, to make it, try to make it look, you look good. You don't look good even if you're trying to pull somebody down. If you even trying to make some God's chosen people, you trying to make God's chosen people look bad. You don't even look good doing that. You don't look good. You don't look good doing that. You can't look good doing that. Because some adults see you and look at you and, and wonder what, why are you such a sour puss. Why are you such a daggone, uh, uh, you, you, you trying to kill somebody else's joy. You a thief. You a robber. You want to steal somebody else's joy. Because <laughs> you don't have none. <laughs> You better go to God. You better go to the source. You better go to the source.
because he's the only one that can do it. He's the only one that can give you real joy. Because you ain't even got no happiness and no joy. If you trying to steal somebody else's joy, that means you need some joy from somewhere. You don't know how to get it. You don't even want to try to do it. You're too lazy to do that. You want to try to steal it. Go around talking about people behind their back. Go around talking about people. That's what you'd rather do. And instead of doing the work yourself, to work on yourself, get your life right, get your life together. Hmm? And some people got plenty. They got money and everything. They still those narcissistic fools that sit there and talk about people and then you want to pull somebody else down and whatnot. What? You think that bring you up because you talk about other people? You trying to bring somebody down? And just like you have all that stuff you have, it can be taken away from you, baby. It can be taken away from you just as quicker than you even could get it. And so I done heard some people sitting there talking. They had a job and, and they lost their job and, and they lost their 401k. They won $1,000 and $100,000 they lost and this and that. And end up going, staying in the trailer park, which is the white people ghetto. I said it once and I say it again. It's the, the, the project, the, 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 the trailer park is the white people ghetto. That's where they, that's where they go. And that's where some of the white people ended up. That's who it was. That's who it was. It was a white lady. She, she was pretty. She had her little blonde hair and all that stuff. And then she sent up and she got she married. She got a husband and whatnot. And she ended up in the trailer. Oh, she had everything. They called. She talked about how much she had. And she lost it all. She lost her 401k. She lost her job and everything. Now they over there at the white people ghetto. Yeah, and then she over there at me trying to trying to make me feel bad, trying to make me feel bad about who I am. See, that's what it is. The people, they, you know, they feel miserable in their life, and they want to try to pull somebody else down. They want to try to pull somebody else down. Do they supposed to make you feel better? You still over there at the at the ghetto of the white people ghetto. It didn't change your situation while you was talking about me. What did ha what happened to you? You were still sitting over there boohooing and crying and you know, she might not have been crying, but you complaining about how she lost her lost her job and she lost her four oh one K and she lost this and that and then the other, whatever she lost. <laughs> I sit there sometimes, I said, Look at this. She at me all I said, Golly. She had a nice, well, they did have a nice um, uh, travel trailer together. Hey, that was pretty good. I liked it. I saw it. It was a nice looking one. And shucks, they was, I feel like you're living good. You got your, that's your home if you own it. You live, like the people say, you're living in a box. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the black folks up there talking trash about us when me and uh, my roommate was living in the trailer park. He, he was he was talking to the dude, you know, my roommate, and he told me, "You living in a box." <laughs> but we had one of them. It was no traveler. It was a it was a trailer, one of those mobile home type trail, and where we was living, and um, we was renting it from this lady. Because her brother, he died and left it to... I don't know who he left it to, but she ended up with it. Um, <laughs> I said, look, it's this ridiculousness. I said, it's just nothing but ridiculousness how these people sit there and they pick a person to hate on. That's what it is, you know, because they, they need somebody to hate on in order for to the, for the make them feel better about their life situation or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Is that, how is that working? How are you? I wonder, like, how is that working? You know, like, they want to try to pick one person to put all of their little hate and frustration and all their little troubles because they going through trouble and trial and tribulation and stuff like that, and they want to put all their little frustration on one person. How is that working? Is that changing your situation? Right, now, give me a report. Somebody give me a report on how your life is working after you try to pick one person to put your hate and frustration and all your anguish on because you feel anguish and you feel frustrated you feel you hate the situation in your life let's see how that's working 
Then here come the gang stalker, you know, like the gang stalker, they the one, uh, whoever is the facilitator of that, the one who came up with the idea, the one who, whatever they doing, financing the gang stalkers or what. Now, somebody must be, maybe the gang stalker um, captain is giving them something for going through whatever, and I don't know, for, for the, acting all stupid and, and doing all this hating and and. and and talking about people and and scandalizing somebody's name. <laughs> now, who who are those people? These are rich people. Now, you mean to tell me rich people are so miserable that they come up with a whole type of program, a gang stalking program, to pay people to harass other folks because we have joined.